Well, hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on April 10th, 2020. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to the Daily Dew, the only place where you can get space weather, world weather, disaster alerts from around the world. Always starting out here looking at our sun, observing an incoming tiny little sunspot as well watching the departing sunspot which seems to be pretty active here looking at these last few images I want to welcome all of new friends and family from around the world we are so close to 10k together we can grow please share hit that like button Get in the comments section. It really helps with YouTube analytics. To get these videos suggested out there. Looking here at 304 angstroms. Able to see plasma. Have another quick look at these sunspots. I, I just find these images fascinating. Our sun is just amazing to me. I love, I'm very passionate about what I do. And I'm very passionate about keeping humanity aware and prepared as well. Looking here at our helosphere. Small rip away there. You can see that southeast quadrant. But still a very quiet sun. We haven't talked about a major flare or CME for quite a while. If you watch it the first year of my channel, there were a lot of solar flares and other solar events. But now we're entering solar cycle 25, which is a long minimum. Have a look here at earthquakes. Most recent here, 5.9 in Basco, the Philippines at 148 kilometer depth and that was after a pretty deep earthquake just south of there also looking at a 5.0 just recently as well Bristol Islands region South Sandwich Islands this is another warned region yesterday Easter Island earthquake yesterday's quakes yesterday's quakes new quakes here today across California minor rumbles up the coastline And then across Indonesia here, 4.3 in Palingbang, Philippines at a 542 kilometer depth. And then pretty much straight after that, 5.9 at 148 kilometer depth. Also observing late last night, a 5.4 here, Somalia plate and India plate, right? The junction, right in the junction. Wow. As well here, Zimbabwe. In Africa, rocking a 4.5 last night. Eurasia Plate seeing some activity. 4.2 here in Turkey. And as well, 4.5 and a 4.1 Farkar, Afghanistan. 125 kilometer depth. Another junction there. Around the world, this is the last 24 hours. Let's look at the last seven days for earthquakes. And we're looking at a lot of deep quakes, those elevated rings from the planet. Those are deeper quakes and those are recent. So watching for a larger shallower quake to follow here. Even after that 5.9 in the Philippines. And when you look at North America, the shallow movement. It's the only place that's getting all the shallow movement. So stay aware, prepared, my friends and family. Cascades. San Andreas, we always need to be on watch. Looking here at the Pacific Disaster Center here, the latest disaster alerts from around the world, updating volcanoes first, Sangay and Ecuador. As well, Dakono in Indonesia, Popo, Mexico, Krakatoa this morning in Indonesia, Nevados de Chilean in Colombia, Sabancaya in Peru, Klucheskoy in Russia, and as well Shevelich in Russia. That's all in the last five hours. Era in Japan, 
Kerinci, Indonesia, and Merapi with an eruption late last night. So yeah, very active for volcanoes. Nine volcanoes to upgate. Lots of movement here. Sumatra into Jakarta with the Krakatoa eruption. And southeastward, Merapi. And as well, Semeru, volcano in Indonesia, and Kerinci. So that's pretty much the major disasters to talk about, is all the volcanoes that have erupted today, and as well, the 5.9 earthquake in the Philippines, 5.4 here, middle of the Indian Ocean, Somalia, India Plate Junction. Watching for some extreme weather to move into Argentina later in the week. Let's get to the five day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteor Mike. Starting out here, home base, Calgary, Alberta, Canada, eh? And yeah, we have some very cold temperatures moving in, minus 12 after this storm rolls through. That's right, we've got snow moving in right now as we speak. It is flurries, but we're gonna get at least five, maybe 10 centimeters of snow as this low develops, moves southward and crashes with a Colorado low and also a golf low. So this is the super storm that I had warned two days ago in my video. Please share that video with everybody worldwide. So watch for this storm to affect pretty much every state on the eastern eastern side of the United States. Extreme weather, southeastern, blizzard conditions throughout northern Ontario and into Quebec. This is going to be a big event. Overlooking Europe, high pressure ridge, kind of locked in place there, keeping things dry and warm. But watch for later in the week for a low to move into the United Kingdom and as well Finland Western Russia also watch for flash flooding conditions northern Pakistan then watch later in the week as these lows combine and that's what I'm I've been noticing is that these lows are joining forces eventually because they keep spinning around the planet. Also observing this large system that's going to be affecting Japan later in the week. Possible typhoon conditions, we'll have to see. It's very interesting though, uh, where are these storms are coming from? We've talked about that before. Overlooking Indonesia into Malaysia, some relief coming to Thailand. Also watching a tropical cyclone developing later in the week here, middle of the Indian Ocean. And it looks like it's gonna be heading straight west. So watch out Madagascar in the 10 day forecast. Could have a cyclone on your doorstep. Overlooking Africa, not much to talk about. Daily evaporation rains. South America, same thing. But heavier regions, again, through uh, Bolivia and Paraguay, Colombia, and as well coastal regions, Panama. Heavier rains there. Looking here, Tropical Cyclone Herald is still alive, moving eastward. And then quite possibly could crash into South America in a seven day forecast. <laughs> Definitely keep an eye on Cyclone Herald here as it ripped through Vanuatu and could be on its way to South America. Overlooking Australia, cool temperatures, cooler than usual, I'm, I would say. Uh, anybody who's watching, get in the comment section, let me know, Southeast Australia, cool temperatures moving in. Northern Territory, some coastal rains. Leave you here looking at the Southern Hemisphere versus the Northern Hemisphere. I appreciate all of you for watching and tuning in. Don't forget to smash that like button and maybe drop a comment. Much love to you all. Stay aware and prepared.
stay young and have fun. And get your morning due. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.